I guess this is going to be a part two. Sorry about that, family. I was running my chops. I didn't even uh, free up space on this phone. But that's okay. Excuse me for that. I apologize. This is part two. So, I don't know where it cut off at, but let me get back. Now, I was talking about China Fox. I was talking about how dysfunction, dysfunctional, dysfunctional, excuse me, it's early in the morning. Bear with me, y'all. Dysfunctional, these black males is when it comes to um, putting all black women in one category and deeming them as, you know, disrespectful, ratchet, you know, destruction of mankind, you know, no good for the black man. The black, the black woman is this. The black woman is that. She, she, she's the blame on why some of it is is true and some of it is fraudulent. You know what I'm saying? You can't put it all on a black woman, okay? So you can sit there and scream "black woman is" and "black woman that," but it's not all about the black women. Uh, uh, it's about a certain amount of them. You know, you can. See, y'all, you know, it's getting old and it's getting lame. You always, you got to have a balance to what you talk about. You always going to have the good and the bad, you know, and the ugly, vice versa. You always going to have those that's dysfunctional. You always going to have those that that's not right. And you as the male, you going to put up with it or find you someone that, it, that can accommodate you. You know what I'm saying? So, you can talk about that day and night, uh, family, but you gotta want you gotta want to change it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Cause black black females come in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Black women all over the four corners of the earth. That's what y'all gotta understand. You brothers gotta think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? You got your ones that's cultured, then you got your ones that's uncultured, you know? You got your ones that that want to bathe in the Anglo-Saxon plight, you know? They don't want to recognize their own true identity. And those black women are problems, I agree, because they have no self-identity. They don't want it, you know? They want, they're trying to be something other than they're not, and that is a mental illness, you know? But my thing is, you cannot blame all black women you know what i'm saying you cannot blame all black women because that's wrong and you brother spend too much time talking about hair weaves that's feminine okay talking about how a woman look if that woman is a strong woman it's not it's not it's not what she does with her body it's what comes out of her mind okay you can't judge a book by its cover Basically, you can't judge a book by its cover. You know? You can't remake someone that's already made up and grown. You cannot change no one, okay? See, that's that's y'all brother's problems. If y'all don't, if you feel as though you're uncomfortable on a woman look, why, why try to pursue her? Won't you find someone that can accommodate you? That you think that will be respectful to you? If you don't like how the woman look, why, why are you going to engage in it? You see what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, you know? You know? Um, and, you know, that's, 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 that's what it is, fam. We sit around here <clears throat> blaming Blaming these these men spend ample time on the internet blaming this person blaming blaming that person, but uh, but we should be worrying about building <clears throat> instead of blaming. I'm taking my time with this because I want y'all to get this. We, we, too much blaming black women for everything instead of worrying about what we got to do as a brotherhood so our black women can respect us. You got your Tommies, you have your you have your curls, you know. Sometimes I agree with his stuff, but he's going too hard. He's going too hard in the paint now. 
I agree with it, then I disagree with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how much you gonna talk about the same old thing? We got it, man. We can't, you know, we can connect the dots. We got it. But see, here's the thing: what you gonna do about it? You can talk about it all day and night. What you gonna do about it? And some of the reasons why some of these black women act out, because black men are dysfunctional. Black men have sexual dysfunctions. Black men have dysfunctional fetishes when it comes to black women. Then y'all talk about ghetto gaggers. Haven't I told you video after video after video? It's enough of production of black men doing the same thing that Anglo-Saxon doing to black women in their production. Haven't I told y'all this? So you can't really talk about nothing. Because we just as guilty as our counterpart, which is the which is our opposite, which is the Anglo Saxon brother. As black males. It it like I say, it gets old, family. You know, China Fox, you know, God bless her soul, because she pointed out some good some good, you know, positions in her argument, you know. When it comes to these brothers acting catty and acting feminine. You know, gossiping about black women all day, fussing with black women all day. Some of y'all secretly like these black women. You know, it get y'all get y'all Jones off of arguing over the net. You know, arguing arguing at these black women over the net. Y'all probably never meet up in a day, you know, in a day in y'all lives, but <clears throat> y'all dudes waste too much time, man. I don't see it. To me, it's childish. You know, it's not even mature. It's immature. Immature brothers, man, haven't grew up yet, haven't, uh, you know, haven't experienced life to the full extent, haven't traveled, haven't got out the they same environment. You know, sometimes your woman is not in, in your vicinity, you know, your vicinity. Sometimes your woman is outside your vicinity, outside your community. You know what I'm saying? Let's put it like that. You might find your woman in the Caribbean. You might find your woman in New York. You don't know where you're going to find your black woman at. Your black woman might not even be in the same place you are. But y'all don't, if y'all don't venture out, which is one of male's traits, y'all don't, if y'all don't get out and, and, and lead and get out and try to explore, which is men's traits, well, you'll never, you'll never know. Because you, you don't want to try. You want to stay in that same dilapidated neighborhood waiting on death. And, that, and that's some of y'all on the internet. You know, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to uh, look to brighter horizons. So, I get stressed out and take to the internet and, and go hard in the paint when it comes to black women. That's all y'all do. I hope this serves some kind of balance to, you know, the argument, if you will, when it comes to uh, <clears throat> China Fox, and when it comes to my production talking about these, these effeminate black men, these simps that keep gossiping and talking about black women all day instead of doing some concrete work and getting this thing cracking like it supposed to be cracking and building like other nationalities are doing and running businesses and making money instead of worrying about what the black you know worrying about what the black woman doing 24 7 you know if you take care of business black man your woman will follow do you understand me if you take care of business if we start to take care of business again our women will respect us and they will follow that's basically it. I'm out.